Pudgy. Pudgy. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? Come here, Reg. Pudgy. <laughs> Reg. Pudgy. Pudgy. Come here, Reg. Pudgy. Come here, boy. <laughs> Look at the ears. <laughs> go, puppies. Well, she ain't going to turn anytime soon. So hello and welcome to a new episode. So in this week's episode, there's a few things that we're going to look at. Part of it is a bit of a revisit. I go past this place quite often and every time I've gone past, there's new cars there, there's new things there, but there's still a lot of the old cars there. So the ones that are familiar with this, this particular area will know straight away. Uh, the ones that aren't familiar with this area, it's a good, good bit of an explore. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm Stokesy, your host. <laughs> What's the matter? Want a stick? You want a stick? If you're, if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. Please subscribe. <laughs> if you're not new to my channel and you still yet haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. It helps me out heaps. 67% of you aren't subscribed. You don't have to pay for a subscription. It's absolutely free. Also, hit the like button and comment below because the comments are, are, are a big part of this channel and I like reading what you have to say. So please, please comment. Right then, I'm not going to talk your ears off any longer. We're going to get straight into the video. So in this week's episode, I, uh, I find a really, really good looking and, and actually for sale Range Rover Vogue. So I've just been speaking to the chap that owns these and this is for sale. We look at a, a sad looking newish 14 plate BMW. This BMW though, ha. Oh. We also look at a uh, Ford Mondeo ST. Now, I think you'll agree with me, this thing is disgusting inside. Is that the mouldiest Ford Mondeo you've ever seen? And also, we look at uh, a Volvo, a big Volvo, uh, which has been there a long time, which is also for sale. Uh, so I do hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna continue taking my dogs for a walk and uh, I hope you enjoy what you see. And yeah, I'll see you in a second. Mum. So the first car we have here to look at is this 320 diesel BMW. Oh, what a damn shame. That is a shame. She's been there an awful long time too. Then we have this uh, CRD injection thing. Hyundai, what's that? Oh, it's a Fiat, Fiat pickup. Ford Mondeo there, look. ST, ST Ford Mondeo. Oh, she's open. Is that the mouldiest Ford Mondeo you've ever seen? Look at the mould on the steering wheel. Crikey. That is a mess. Two thousand and four BMW X five. Which doesn't look in bad condition really. So I don't know what it's sat here for. Look at those wheels. Wow. Three litre BMW X5, 2010 Ford Focus Estate. I mean, it's a 2010. Many more years left in that. Volkswagen Passat estate. These engines are, you know, re renowned for th up to 300,000 if they're looked after well. I've seen some up on 500,000. I mean, my Golf's on 216,000. I mean, some of these cars, okay, they've obviously got mechanical issues and stuff like that, but I mean, this X5 here, that can be saved, can be used, unless the engine's gone, and then the car's just a shed, basically. This uh, X-Trail, Nissan X-Trail. O2 plate. These are good cars. Now used for a uh, hay, 
But yeah, these are good cars. These are getting more rarer. These are a lot more rarer in value. Shame. 2010 Mazda. Her back end just shoved in the bushes. It's 2010 Mazda. And then we've got this uh, 58 plate BMW. This uh, Volvo on a 60 plate. I mean, it really is a shame. That there, oh, cat, that there is just shock, absolutely shocking. It really is shocking. Because these are these cars, if they're looked after right, can do up to a million miles. And this clearly isn't being looked after right at all. What a damn shame. Old uh, Land Rover, she's been there a long, long time. This poor Mondeo. I mean, I remember this thing when it was, wasn't even this bad. And now look at it. It's an absolute disgrace how, how they can be left like this. Look at this Freelander. I mean, look how dirty it is. Wow. It's now a plant pot. And this poor Saab. I mean, come on. She's just been left for dead, hasn't she? Poor girl. Now, to all the BMW enthusiasts, this is going to hurt you. This BMW has been here a long time. Oh, I can't even get that way. Same as his Range Rover, Vogue SE. Vogue SE, which is worth a lot of money, is uh, subsequently being abandoned. Now, this BMW is going to hurt you BMW fans because it's been here a long time. I mean, it's just a standard BMW, but to me, it's, 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 it's painful. I'll show you. 2014 BMW. She's been here a long time. That to me is kind of sad. I mean, it's nothing special. It's got the front lip. That car should certainly be back on the road, not be sat in a, a court, forecourt, which I know for a fact it's going to be sat here for many, many years. I mean, there might be something wrong with it, but you know, to the right person, could easily get it fixed. But no, she sits here like this, collecting dust, and is eventually going to, you know, I don't know. It is a shame though, really. I mean, these Freelanders, these should be should be on the road. I mean, these are good cars, really. That's more like a garden piece now, that is. I think I might have been caught, ladies and gents, because I just got someone looking out the window. 2012. That's not in bad nick, really, either, is it? I mean, give that a bit of a clean. This Volvo's been here for many years, as you can tell. Many, many years. Again, good old Volvo. It's this conifer here which has made these look so bad. Audi A4, 2.4 injection, convertible. Show a bit of work done there. But, I mean that should be put back on the road, shouldn't it? Needs to work on the arch though. Ford Focus. <laughs> 57 plate. Uh, BMW. Again, looks really cool. Shouldn't be on, shouldn't be parked here, but they all have their reasons, I suppose. This BMW though, ha. Oh, she is open. Wow, look how clean she is inside. So I've just been speaking to the chap that owns these and this is for sale, £4,000. The registration's worth about £2,000. It's our new engine in it, which is brilliant. So £4,000 Vogue SE, the registration's worth about two and a half grand. It's had a new engine in it. The engine's at 47,000 or something. The shell's at 70 something thousand. Uh, the only problem is, is the gearbox slips. Uh, so the Range Rover is for sale. So I got caught by the owner, but the owner's a lovely chap, an absolutely lovely chap. Um, and he said I can walk around and have a look about it still. So also for sale is this. Uh, he said it can be cleaned up if you want it to be cleaned up and it is for sale. But 
I don't know what. He didn't put a price on this. He said he needs to go. He needs to go through it first. Believe it or not, these cars are supposed to be getting around to being done. But as he, the old chap said, he said, um, as Harold said, he did say that uh, with work and, and and all sorts of commitments, cars get pushed back. And as you can see, these cars have been pushed right back. Well, the chap's a lovely bloke. Uh, the only issue is is the 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 gearbox slips on the heavy load, which. You know she's a big old beast so it's to be expected but i don't think it would take much to to clean in all honesty i think it's a a, a doable half decent uh, beast another thing which to mention also is it's got the really the nice steering wheel you see the steering wheel that's a nice steering wheel but i mean the interior the interior is lovely too the roof headline is falling falling down in the back but these old girls sag with age so that's just to be expected but um, that steering wheel though, I'm not too sure if you can see it. That steering wheel is beautiful. Lovely, lovely motor. Oh. Oh. Absolutely lovely motor. Tires look quite new as well. I wouldn't say no to this. Back tire is quite flat. Side steps need to be removed. These side steps aren't the greatest. Oh, looks like she's had a plate there. A bit of a plate there, look. So anybody's interested in this, let me know. Obviously, I want a small commission <laughs> for selling it. But this is what I want to do, ladies and gentlemen. I want to sell, buy and sell. Uh, I want to help save these cars. So if I can, if I can't afford them, but I can help sell them then that would be brilliant just to get them back on the road Ooh. oh god yeah this is this tire is flat um but yeah she looks pretty well in all honesty it's funny how things change how things turn oh i'm stuck so it's funny how things are you come to a place to have a bit of a sneak about and you get basically permission which is madness but yeah four thousand pound and that registration has got to be worth oh hold on there's two different registrations on here so the but the rear registration says yes and this one says 205 so i don't know which is which but um that one there one of them is worth about two grand so that's what the chap said right then so that turned out to be half decent in all honesty harold the owner is a nice bloke so uh, yeah, this particular location has many, many cars on here and um, so should, should be saved and rescued. But at the end of the day, you can't rescue all of them. But at least we can at least try and save that, uh, that uh, Range Rover, the Vogue. This has actually turned out to be a decent, a decent video. Um, you may or may not agree, but I think it's, a, I, I, I agree. No. I think it's turned out to be a decent video in all honesty. Um, my lens is a bit dirty though. So, basically, if you're after a, a Range Rover um, that's had a reconditioned engine and um, is in pretty good standing, in all honesty, I think it's in. I think it's pretty good standing. If you're interested in it, email me with my email address below. He said that the engine is absolutely silky smooth. It's a 3.5, not the 3.9, which is a better engine before they already bored it out and then uh, Range Rovers started having uh, complications with the engine. So it's the good healthy 3.5. Um, it looks good underneath to a degree. You know, obviously with, with regards to the age, it, she doesn't look too bad in all honesty. There's a few little patches even there. The bulkhead's okay, he said. They said the bulkhead's fine. So that's a good thing. But anybody that's uh, potentially interested, uh, we can meet uh, up here and we can have a little bit of a walk about but what I would do first is I would go there and um, do a video of it running etc and do maybe a, t a short or something or something like that my phone battery has gone flat so I couldn't do it there obviously the chap was a bit too busy Harold was a bit busy so I couldn't really uh, ask him to do stuff um, so yeah all in all it's a pretty good car nice leather inside too uh, I would have preferred it to be teddy bear, but it's too new for that. 
but for a Vogue SE for four grand and a private plate on it, I think that's a pretty good price in all honesty. Um, I mean, I'd want to buy it, but uh, as I've said, the gearbox is slipping. So, I mean, they're not really that hard to work on. So, you know, they, it, 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 you know here or there, really. So, if you are interested in a uh, decent Range Rover, let me know.